what it do my mcoc crew this is damn epic and we are here wailing out on this year's spring cleaning event yesterday i uploaded a little bit of an appetizer this is the entree so strap in your boy is picking up everything possible and we are gonna be doing this thing right here right now so how have you guys been let's get into it so we are going to be picking up first of all the titan shards we going for the titan shards we going for the tier 4 alphas right now guys we are going to have three titans in this video two at one point and then we're going to circle back and open one at the very end we're going to have a very 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 op new seven star rank three in this video so this video as usual is going to be action-packed grab your favorite snack beverage of choice strap in and get ready for a wild wild ride so let's go guys let me know also in the comments what you thought of this year's spring cleaning event um i think it's it's i feel it's lukewarm i mean uh there aren't too too many crazy new r3s being thrown at you which is good uh because you don't want to have so many R3s where it's not exciting to get R3s. So it's still like a big deal to get R3s. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead. Open up some seven-star basics. What I want from here, honestly, Spider-Ham Awakening would be number one. Because I definitely want to take that champion to R3 at some point. But we're getting the wrong type of <laughs> Spider-Verse champion. Uh, we got the OG Spidey. Uh, but he's good after his buff. Shut up. No one in the top battlegrounds, which is the mode that I use, use this guy um, and have him ranked at R2, R3, and they're rocking with him. And speaking of which, we get another one. Check out the SIG, guys. This brings her to a max SIG. She, however, is at R2. Again, she's just not fast enough in battlegrounds. If she had some of her main synergies built into her kit, uh, maybe she would do it. Maybe she needs uh, another tune-up. But anyways, we going for the class-based crystals here. We gonna be going for two skill, two skill crystals, um, because quite frankly, I definitely want to do a skill R3 for defense. So I wanna target Killmonger and Korg. Funny enough, those champions are just very, very low SIG for me, SIG 40 and sig 20 so i want to get their sigs up their sigs are definitely important so we go in all in on the skill right now and let's see how we're gonna do let's first pop open some of these mythic crystals see if we get lucky absolute dumpster fire trash right there um so let's keep it moving let's keep it moving on that front see if we get lucky back out go back in But yeah, guys, as I was saying, um, this event is cool. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it is it is what it is. I mean, I feel the game needs it. The, the game needs a speed bump right now. Because as I said in one of my previous videos, I don't even want to think about eight stars. I, I don't even want to think about it. So if Kabam can slow things down, even if it means lower spending, um, guess what? Lower spending is better than no spending with uh, uh, a game that dies or too few people play. So uh, let's kind of take the speed bump, take it in stride. And this is definitely not what we want. This guy's what? Sig 120 now? Um, definitely does not need the Sig 140. So he needs this. He does not need the Sigs. That is absolute garbage. Not what we're looking for. But then again, there are very few champs in here. I'm really just char targeting Killmonger and Korg. And we do not get either. Mantis is an absolute W bull, but she just does not look. Guys, she's Sig 120. She just does not need it. That is not what we were looking for. The DEO luck did not come through on these two crystals. Let's see if we can pull through on the Titan crystals. Those are the biggies. Those are the bigums. So let's go, guys. Um, let's start it off. Uh, who would I want from here? Onslaught Awakening, Bullseye Awakening, um, or anything new that's good. Anything new that's good. Don't throw a Luke Cage at me. 
That is not what we want. Oof, guys, this has been a rough, rough opening. We need something in this next crystal to turn this around because we get in Spider-Verse champs that aren't good. Ugh. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Onslaught Awakening. Bullseye. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I will take that. I will definitely take that. Uh, that's an R3 candidate in the future. I do have the six star R5 ascended. So maybe I would wait until he's duped, but this guy would definitely go to R3. He's just so smooth to play. I love his animations. I love his buff. I feel one of the best uh, domino counters in the game. And unlike Shuri, I feel like he is a bit better of a defender, uh, de depending on the meta, especially as well. So we are going in here. We have these seven star signature stones. So we're gonna use some of them, not all of them right now. So let's go ahead and pop some into a few select champions. So the Mystic, this is going into Doggo for sure. Uh, he is at R3. I dropped, I don't know, seven, eight Odin, Odins in a previous video just to awaken him from uh, Paragon, his Paragon Crystals. And those eight, uh, I could put it into Titania, um, but you know what? I'm gonna end up putting those into Thing, who I recently awakened, spoiler alert, in the last video that I just uploaded. Um, these are going to go into Nightcrawler. Let me know, guys. Should I be putting this into Danny Moonstar? Um, but I think Nightcrawler is the play. Danny is Sig 40, so I feel she is good. So here we go. Let's get into another basic right here. Again, Spider Ham Awakening or Champs that need the Sigs. Let's see what we're going to get. No effing way. No effing way. This is disgusting. The only silver lining here is if I keep pulling this guy, he's going to get to SIG 200 and I'm going to be getting double the Titan shards at max SIG. We're going to be getting more champions to max SIG. We're going to be getting those Titan shards faster. Um, let's just go ahead and use these uh, Relic Stones. So let's check the Prestige before. Let's dump all of them into Hulk. Speaking of which, Silk's got to go to R3 at some point. I just absolutely love that champion. Um, all right, that boosted the prestige slightly. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's throw this into Atuma. Let's get him up. He is rank three as well. And I think Cosmic and Tech, I'm just going to hold on to for now. Um, tech, I could put into Shocker, but I also have Warlock. I got to think about that a little bit more. You know what? Let's put these Sigs into Thing. He deserves them. I recently awakened him. Guys, this guy has been doing a serious number <laughs> uh, to people this Battlegrounds meta on defense. He is R2. Uh, I never took the uh, six star past rank four, so it made sense for me since I awakened him to uh, take him to rank two as a seven star, and I'm gonna start investing him. So we have those two six star Relic Awakening gems. We are gonna be popping one into Sinister, and uh, this guy, uh, he's on my R3 Domino, who has been an absolute menace. I suspect next war season, uh, she's gonna be banned a ton, uh, cause she's definitely one of the best tactic attackers. But I have my seven star Emma at R2. I've been testing her in off season. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see some seven star R2 Emma Frost gameplay. Um, she slaps guys, she slaps. I would actually really love to take her to R3. She's a solid champion, amazing immunities, uh, decent power control, uh, when in diamond form at the start of the fight, especially. But guys, two things coming up now. We open in another Titan because that uh, 26 on Morbius was just not it. 
So can we get Onslaught, Bullseye Dupes, or something new that's good? Not Iron Heart. Ooh, yes! I will take that. I will take that. I didn't want Iron Heart because I have her at six star R5 and Ascended. And honestly, I never ever use that champ. She's got the decent utility, but I really feel you definitely do have to have her as a seven star and then perhaps at the rank three level for her to really shine a bit more because you get the utility and the damage. But at six star rank five, even Ascended, she's just not doing it for me. She doesn't even make my Battlegrounds deck. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know for those of you who have White Tiger, is this a W pull? Uh, I think she's really good for uh, Cosmics with uh, who are very buff heavy. She can cycle those uh, special twos, uh, steel power, stuff like that. Uh, let me know in the comments what's the best relic to use. But we are taking, at long last, seven star Onslaught to rank three. Straight from rank one to rank three. I have the six star R5 ascended. But who cares? This is 7-star Onslaught. Definitely going to keep opening Titans because I want to get him awakened. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely fire. This guy is a menace on defense. This guy definitely is a skill champion's nightmare on attack. So very, very, very happy with that pull. We got 7-star Platinum pool right here that we're just going to pop on open. And as a well, I must say, like for me and my account, the game is in a bit of an interesting place. They have that uh, Omega kind of holiday uh, champion sale coming up where you're able to get like Mole Man, Omega Red, Corvus Glaive as a seven star. Um, and as a whale, that's definitely awesome. I would say Omega Red would be the number one uh, pull that I want. From there but again he's really got to run uh ouchy masteries to really really shine but let's go ahead and change that profile picture up um but yeah to get a guaranteed high sig uh or medium-ish high sig uh seven star for you know 12 odins as a whale that's amazing that is absolutely amazing as someone who's a dolphin or who moderately spends that's probably not as great and seems really steep but for a whale that is fire i'm in the minority here i know it's uh that might not be a common take but for me the way i think about it is how many paragons would i have to open to get this guy as a seven star and awaken but here we go guys finishing up whaled out we rocked out with our pockets out and we are getting this seven star exclusive Deadpool champion right here. Again, am I ever going to use this champion? No, but I feel it's a kind of like a cool little trophy thing to have in the account. Um, and we're going to be finishing up with a six star relic opening right here, guys. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know also what you pulled from your spring cleaning offering. Even if you're free to play, you're able to get some stuff. Uh, so let me know in the comments right now what you got. Let me know if you're looking forward to grabbing uh, Seven Star Mole Man, Corvus Glaive, uh, Omega Red, Omega Sentinel, who you would want most from there. And here we have these two uh, Six Star Relic, Rank 1 to Rank 2 gems. Probably put it into Iron Fist and Sentinel right here. Um, let me know, guys, who you would use it on out of the four. And let's just go ahead and look at our brand new champions that we pulled in this video. White Tiger from the Titan, Red Skull from the Titan Crystal, and of course we got the two pools, the Poolies, Platinum Pool, and Deadpool. Well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. I reply to every single comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Damn Epic out. Peace.